Hey everybody, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today I am super excited because I get to share with you guys some really cool paint jobs, some of the best I've seen in the whole community uh, that I found, and I want to share them with you guys today. So, this, these blasters here are all made by the same company that you can find in the description below. I found them on Etsy, which is just a buy and sell website if you don't know about it, kind of like eBay um, for homemade things and whatnot. And um, they're called the Geek Armory, so they basically, if you go onto their Etsy page, it's a lot of just Nerf Blasters that they completely trick out. It's extremely cool, so I picked up four different ones just to show you guys today, show you what it's all about. You can also see the price ranges if you go to their site, you can see how much these are going for, because they're uh, really, really nice paint jobs, but fair warning, you're, they're, good, they're pretty pricey compared to a normal Nerf Blaster, but... Uh, if you've ever paid for a commission for a modded blaster, it's about the same thing, so it's actually pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to start with this one, because uh, it's the one I first noticed when I was checking out their stuff, and I think it's absolutely wicked. Okay, so if you guys can't tell already, this is a long strike. These are, you know, you can't really find them anymore. A lot of people are selling them for stupidly ridiculous prices online, but uh, this one is especially cool. So, I'm going to go over the paint job and kind of show you guys what they've done here. Now, all the blasters from the Geek Armory are not actually internally modified. Um, they're all stock on the inside, which is actually cool because it provides this epic paint job if you're not as good at paint jobs, but if you're great at modding, you can still, of course, take them apart like a normal blaster and do everything you can do to the insides. But if you can tell, when you prime this long strike, like you won't even be able to hear it. It's, it's pitiful. It's uh, it's pretty quiet, and it's it's your stock long strike ranges, so it's not gonna go that far. I'm gonna take off the barrel first. These are uh, all perfectly working. They're all perfectly working, so they function just like a normal one. They just look way cooler. Okay, so as you can see, we got the Nerf logo there, uh, in gray, and then this is like a kind of a green. It's a dark kind of. I don't know how you would describe this green. Uh, and then this gold brown color it's that that's kind of the two tone it's this shiny green all uh like dry brushed silver here and then the brown gold copper color which is really really nice all together of course everything works everything's painted even this is like a different color like everything is extremely detailed uh i think the inside of the barrel's painted looks like it Looks like it is. Ha! Huh. That's so cool. So yeah, this is uh this is great. You can see I wanna get a zoom in on the um all this digital camo here. You can see it's all painted and kind of brushed around in grey. They dry brushed everything in a dark grey, which is really, really nice. You can see the bolts they've done there. Even in there is a different color. It's just really, really great all around. So you can kind of get a look at that yourself. It's flat too, and it doesn't smell too much like paint because I think they all hand painted this with modeling paint. If you were to use some sort of spray paint and didn't do a clear coat, uh, you'd be able to tell. But it seems as if they've used modeling paint and uh, you can't really smell it when you pick it up that, oh yeah, this has been painted by someone at home. It looks really good and uh, could be easily like something you would buy out of a box. Okay, so also included on the long strike was something that I thought was so cool. They added a long shot scope for me. So, uh, you can see it's the exact same coloring. You have this kind of gray silver here with the darker black, uh, and then this gold color again on top with green, and it all comes together so nicely. Like, as I said, everything's individually painted, and the detail on it is immaculate. There's no paint on this plastic or anything. It's, uh... It's really quite good. So yeah, that's your normal long shot scope. And it looks great. Like, that's the only thing that's kind of come off. But, I mean, that comes off because when you slide, it rubs the paint. But uh, other than that, and you're not going to see that when it's on it, of course. You're just going to see this, which looks just awesome. And then the last part I want to show you is the long strike fully assembled. It's, it's hard to kind of show you in the camera, but look at that. So, one of the reasons I buy all these uh, blasters with these crazy paint jobs is for my movies. So if you guys watch my Nerf Wars, now I'm going to be able to use these things, which as you can tell, 
look <laughs> insanely detailed and realistic. Well, not realistic because they're green and gold, but they just look cool. So, um, I'm going to just kind of go over it all real quick because I have so many more blasters to go over for you guys today. So you can see here's the priming handle done really nice. The whole kind of body here. Even all the instructions have been painted, uh, dry brushed in silver. Kind of see the trigger there in black. The stock, and it's got some blue on it too, which looks really, really nice. The end strike logo is still on there. Uh, the handle's cool. You know, it's all cool. I really like uh, this whole top area. The Nerf logo is done beautifully, so that's awesome. Um, the top jam door is a different color. You can still see the long strike, they didn't sand any of that off. The grip is all done up and nice, and the clip too. I want to show you. The clip is really great. So, although they actually did something that not a lot of people do, they painted the entirety of the clip, but uh, they did it in such a thin paint that it doesn't actually stick. And just look at that. They even painted the tip of the dart on the picture. But um, it doesn't like stick when it goes in because the paint's so thin, which is awesome. And then I've shown you everything else on there. But that's essentially your long strike. And it looks really, really great. Okay, so, uh, that's the long strike. Took a little uh, longer on that than I wanted to. So let's just move along and show you the different paint jobs now. This is the sledge fire, and it's in the same paint job. So um, it's got the green, the silver, and the kind of the brown gold color, which is nice because it means uh, because of the same color, if there were teams or whatever, they could be on the same team. But here's the shells that they did for them. And those shells look sweet. Really, really good there. They got the darts in them too. But yep, yeah, those those shells all go in the back there. Now let's take a look at the blaster, because that zombie strike is done beautifully. How they've gone in and uh, all the little bits in here that have, they've done black to outline it, it just looks great. The back of it is repainted in brown for that look, that leather look, and it looks great. Um, I don't know, I feel like the bandage was already there, of course, but they went, oh, redid it uh, with the blacks, and I think they redid the grays, because it feels different, but it looks more real now. Um, also, of course, it all, all this brown comes up under here, and is done beautifully there. Yeah, look at that. And uh, the Nerf logo, this, of course, it's a fully functioning sledge fire so everything in here is painted of course the yeah you can see and they managed to paint all the way down in there as well it's crazy uh, you see that that's just insane what they've done so that's the sledge fire that one's really really cool and you can see the blue it's got some blue on there more there too and it looks really really good Alright, this next one's a little different. They've gone away from the green and just stuck to all that copper color and gray and gold. And it looks more like a steampunk blaster, which people seem to be obsessed with on uh, eBay and Etsy and all that. So, of course, this is a barrel break. Um, it has, it actually still has the uh, dart attachment thing, which is cool. So, you can see um, all the coloring here. So, like I said, it's more of a steampunk. But it's got all that. Yeah, it looks so good. And like I said, fully functioning, all painted still inside. Um, I don't think, even if I wanted to, I could find out what the original color of this was. If it was blue or uh, yellow. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that's just how well it's been painted. Um, I wonder... You can't really see them there. It looks like they've actually painted the uh, they painted the inside with the primers, so you can't see those. So um, yeah, and then other than that, it's just you know your basic geek armory stuff we've been looking at. It looks really really good. You can see. Let's get a closer shot of the end strike logo. You can see there. That's all hand painted, and it looks great. Okay, and the last one I want to show you guys is this Flip Fury. Completely different this time. We got red and silver, uh, darker color, black color. Um, this brown here that looks like wood. Um, and then the bandages. And black trigger. 
black rotating button, um, even this piece. It's all been painted, but you can see it's kind of a different color as before. Take a look at the Flip Fury there. There's a little mess up there, but uh, gold. You can kind of just get a sense of it. They redid the bandages as, um, as well, again, to make it look nicer. But yeah, that's I like this red one. I really, really like the coloring on this one. Um, as far as the color scheme goes, my favorite's the Lung Strike that they did on it. And then this one, because um, I like this red color. It looks really cool, like some sort of daredevil color. It's awesome. So you can see that there. And of course, they got the fake wood grain on it, which looks really, really good now that it's been painted. Look at that. So that's awesome. So that's kind of an inside look at the Geek Armory and the products that they make. If you notice, I have this long strike and a uh, rough cut here that glows, which is pretty sweet. And those are made from other people, and like I said, it's kind of a new thing I'm doing, so uh, you guys can check out other modded blasters that you can commission from other people that are available out there. So, this is one of them. Again, all of these are stock, so you're not going to get higher performance, but you will get that insane paint job, which to me is a harder thing to do, because uh, it takes so much concentration, whereas modding is all straight hacking at the bit and stuff. So, um, basically, that's kind of what you're going to get with them. So, think about if it's good for you. Uh, if you don't even think about buying these and you just enjoy this video because you got to see some sweet looking nerf blasters please hit that like button down below because it really helps out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of and all of that i hope you guys did enjoy this video please let me know by telling me in the comments below always love to hear what you guys have to say if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe because a it's free and b i have new videos on this channel every single saturday if you're a returning fan and you're constant and loyal but you don't know about my other channels, I have a gaming channel which will be in the description below as well as a vlogging channel where I vlog and film every single day of my life so you guys can see what happens behind the scenes. That's in the description below as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions signing off.